Kelsey. Hey, I'm Perth. Hey, I'm Princess. How are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. First things first, I only have one YouTube page and one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. I hope y'all are having a beautiful and blessed day. I pray that y'all are having a beautiful and blessed week, and I hope that y'all have a beautiful, blessed, and protected weekend and holiday. May Father God continue to cover you, bless you, and keep you safe all days, always. And I'm sending you so much peace, love, and healing energy. Let's begin. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me and guide me and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today. I'm going to try not to make this video too long. I know Earth Times do not like long videos, so I will try to make it as short as possible, y'all, <laughs> for you. What does Virgo need to know? Please and thank you. Okay, yeah, you guys could be traveling, getting ready to move. Y'all are moving in a brand new direction. Okay, this is, you guys got this before yesterday with the, um, the horoscopes that I wrote. You guys could definitely, Capricorn also got this too. You guys could be talking to a Capricorn, you could have it in your birth chart. Okay, but I'm seeing moving, traveling, motion, action, movement is taking place. This is also you going in a brand new direction. You're going in a brand new, you're going in a brand new direction I'm seeing here. You guys could be looking at a map at this time or looking at new destinations. This could also be like you guys physically moving to a new location, okay? Taurus just got this and so did Scorpio. <laughs> so y'all could definitely have those in your chart too. Taurus, Scorpio energy, y'all could be connecting to any of these signs or you could have it in your birth chart. But I'm seeing here, you're being led to take charge. Y'all got some type of insight, knowledge, and it's like your intuition, your spirit guides are telling you it's time to take charge with authority. It's time to understand who you are. Okay. Oh yeah. You guys could also be going to an oracle. You guys could be well, you guys are watching. <laughs> you guys are watching. Um, either y'all could be watching tarot, getting readings done. Okay, or you could be a reader, but this is this is giving me the energy of you guys going to get knowledge from someone. Okay. This could even be like you guys paid for a reading or you paid for something done and now you're waiting to get the information back. Because I see wait for important information at the bottom of the deck. So you guys could be waiting for someone who like meditates, who, who gains knowledge from up above to give you some type of insight to direct you in regards to where to go. That's for someone here as well. Anything else that you could tell me? Yeah, great teacher. You guys are learning. You guys are equipped with all the skills to teach or this is just literally literally. You guys learning from spiritual experiences. You guys learning from the past and you guys teaching others. Like, yo, when I did this, you know, this is what happened. Don't do it. Or go ahead, do it. Like, this is you guys actually learning from the experiences that you have went through and not repeating the same mistakes, but also teaching others that you may see is on that same journey where you once were. Okay? I love this card. Like, I absolutely love it. It's kind of like, you know, when I tell my, when, when I tell like my, past stories you know like you guys could be doing that too like hey i used to work at this job or i used to be connected to this person and this is how it this is how it went i don't know if you guys want to um go down that path or continue down it. okay like you guys could really be connecting to people or father god is putting in your face or putting in your energy people that you're supposed to open up to and express yeah it's time to release any fears track it down track down what's what's making you fearful and turn that energy into faith Okay, because you can't be fearful and faithful at the same time. Like you can't have faith in God that God is going to work things out for you and then have the fear to move forward or to take this certain step or to take charge. That's just not how it goes. Okay, let's see here. Anything else for Virgo? Yeah, let go. Let go. Surrender to Father God. It's time to let go. This is also you making room for a brand new beginning. Okay. Because it's on its way to you right now. You're getting ready to start something new. And it has to do with your desires. Yeah, you listening to your intuition about certain cycles. Closing out cycles. You listening to your intuition. You not ignoring the red flags. Because there's certain red flags in your face that y'all are ignoring at this time. And it's going to come back to bite you later. It's going to come back to like hurt you in the long run. It's like, laugh. it's like laughing now but crying later. That energy has been around y'all for a while too. Virgo, and I don't know if it's your energy, like y'all laughing now, but, or there's someone that could have been laughing 
now, but they're going to be crying later. Like somebody here that wasn't, isn't realizing cause and effect, or they're not realizing how karma really works. So they're not, they're not realizing about cycles. I can't make it up. Cycles, karma, something is ending for there to be a new beginning. The, there's, there's fated events that are also getting ready to take place as well. Yeah, something is getting ready to be a yes for you. This is also, your intuition has not been lying to you about, yes, there is someone else in, in the connection with you or you guys could be in a connection with somebody and you guys could be feeling like someone here is stepping out on you. They are. Someone is in the middle of it. Someone is trying to sabotage you in a connection with someone. Okay, I hope this isn't y'all trying to sabotage a connection with somebody because the karma that you guys will receive is off the yin yang. Don't do it. Because <laughs> I already saw that, that cycles card. That's karma. All that, that's karmic energy especially during this retrograde, okay? So there could definitely be someone that is trying to sabotage a relationship with you. Take it how it resonates, y'all, okay? <laughs> I hope this isn't y'all trying to sabotage somebody. But let's see. Anything else that Virgo needs to know? Yeah, something is over. The death card. You guys could be seeing the truth of a situation with the Queen of Swords. You guys could be speaking some type of truth and clarity, which is going to cause an ending, and this ending is good because these endings always bring about new beginnings changes growth expansion you guys are ending something for that so that there could be a brand new beginning that takes place okay oh i don't know. nine of cups in the reverse somebody is unhappy what is this what is this what's going on for virgo how many minutes you know seven minutes I'm trying to not make it too long for y'all this is the truth. <laughs> this is the truth. So you guys are getting ready to gain some type of truth and clarity. What I just said is the truth. Okay, this is also you guys being in your authentic energy, being real, being honest, you speaking out. The truth will forever set you free. The truth will forever bring light to dark rooms, especially where the devil is residing, where the devil wants to lurk and lie and manipulate and use people to try to connive. Okay, y'all are standing in your authentic energy, and that's the God in you. Yeah, the four of swords to the ten of swords. Somebody here was going through a lot of mental strife over being betrayed or like this ten of swords is a betrayal. Betrayal, manipulated, lied to. The ten of swords is something coming to an abrupt ending and it hurt. You guys could have had a lot of like stress, mental stress over an ending that's meant to come, that's meant to take place. Yeah, there you go, Empress. You're not realizing that this ending or that this trans, like I'm picking up on an energy, like this ending, whatever this experience that you guys went through, it needs to come to an end so that you guys can evolve. With the Empress, so that you guys can evolve, you guys can grow. The Empress is the most beautiful and the most powerful, you know, woman card in the deck. And the Empress is all the queens in the deck. And this could just be a mass, this could be a mass one. So you guys could be in your energy you know, in the Empress energy, which is fine. That means you guys are very um, regal. You guys are attracting. You guys have a high vibing energy where it's like you guys aren't chasing. You guys are attracting what aligns with you. That's the Empress card. You guys could also be pregnant. You guys could be pregnant, getting ready to get pregnant with the Empress, or this is just you expanding. But there was an, this, I'm, I don't know why I'm picking on, picking this up where you guys are like transforming while you sleep or evolving or transforming through something that was really traumatic with the sun. It's like you're gonna have brighter days that are on the horizon through this transformation. But with the nine of swords, there's someone that does not want this ha to happen. What's the nine of swords about? Somebody who does not want this to happen because they know like if you evolve, you'll leave them out in the cold. It's a king of swords individual. Somebody here is gonna try to outsmart you. They're gonna try to manipulate you. They're gonna try to get in your head to play mind games with you because this person is hopeful that you won't disconnect or you won't evolve or you won't know your true worth. Because that will eventually like leave them in poverty. But the Five of Pentacles is even be an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, another Virgo like you, or an air sign. Taurus is here with the, the Empress. Taurus, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy is here. Somebody here is stressed out. They know that either y'all could have like separation at this time right now with the Five of Pentacles. There could have been some type of homelessness or job loss that was taking place. Or somebody here, you guys could feel coldness or distance in a, in a current relationship that you could be in at this time that's not meant to continue on. Something is going to like show you that this is 
it needs to end with the tennis doors. There's getting ready to be an event that takes place, which is going to call for it to be an ending that, that, that's here. But I'm picking up on an energy that doesn't want this to come to an end. They don't want you to see that you can heal because the Empress knows how to heal, how to transmute pain. That's why the Empress popped out right after the tennis doors. The Empress, what makes her so powerful, what makes them so powerful is that they don't take that pain and hurt people. They take that pain and they, they say, thank you. I'm going to go ahead and turn this energy into power. I'm going to go ahead and turn this energy into wealth. I'm going to go ahead and turn this energy into um, a blessing. It's like a blessing in the disguise. Instead of taking negative energy and sending it back out, no, no, no. You're harvesting that energy within you. You are putting that energy in and like transmuting it. You guys are utilizing that power energy and utilizing it for good, for positivity. Whether that is putting out positive energy into the world by your thoughts, by your words, by your actions, by different decisions, okay, by your, by you and, Instead of going down, it's, it's kind of like when you guys are sitting in an, in an energy that has you mad, what do you do? Do you go, like, argue with people? Do you, like, push that energy outward, project that energy outward to get it off of you? Because energy doesn't just die. Energy always got to go somewhere. So it's something about you guys taking that energy, taking pain, taking whatever the situation is and healing. You turning that energy into healing. And someone here is watching you very, 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 they have their eyes on you with the page of swords. Like they want to know what's next for you because they want to delay it. They want to stop it. This could be a Pisces. What's the, the page of swords? Somebody is definitely watching you very, very closely. They're keeping tabs on you. This is someone from your past, someone that you could have grown up with, have a lot of history with, with the six of cups. Someone here could have tried to come back into your life from the past. Yeah, you also have someone that's watching you from the past that wants to try to like, we connect with you. There could be a delay to this as well, to, to this person taking action, but they want to come towards you. Yeah, there's hardships here. Somebody here is finding it very, very difficult to take a leap of faith towards you. They don't know what to do with the Five of Cups, so they're just sitting down and reflecting, trying to make a plan. What's this Five of Pentacles? So y'all have different energies. Yeah, the Nine of Cups. You don't see that this was a blessing in disguise. I see it with the nine of cups. Yeah, this was meant for you to be inspired, to take action, to choose you. With the two of wands, to go in a brand new direction, to go towards wish fulfillment, to expand, to grow, to evolve, literally. And someone here, is, they know this with the eight of swords. They know this. They know that once you make this decision to choose you, it's no more you um, accepting low ball offers with the nine of swords, nine of cups. You're no longer accepting people that are coming in with hidden motives. The knight usually has um, armor on them. In the other deck, it has like armor on the knight of swords. You see them covered in armor, including their face. So this is someone here that is going to try to dress down or they're going to try to make you feel like you can embrace them. But this person really is, they know that you're no longer taking low ball offers. That's over with now. You want to expand. The Eight of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. And that's exactly what's getting ready to come in. You don't even see this. But you guys could have been in denial about this, but this is what's getting ready to come towards you. Blessings, rewards, accolades, and a brand new commitment. A solid commitment coming straight from the hand of God. I hope this resonated with you. May peace and blessings be to you always, Virgo. And I'll be seeing you on the next video.